Rose, it's June 6th! Today is the release day of The Fault in Our Stars, the movie based on the book of the same name by the great John Green. Last night, Rose and I were lucky enough to attend a special pre-release advanced screening of the movie, and it was capital A AWESOME! After the movie, there was like a two hour long live Q&A featuring John Green and the cast and the director and producer. There were even some musical performances from some of the artists featured on the soundtrack. We got these cool posters featuring the signatures of Shailene Woodley and Ansel Elgort and Nat Wolf and of course John Green aka Jay Scribble. Nerd fighters will get that joke. We also got these cool little charm bracelets which I obviously have tons of use for. You will go right here. I was really happy with the movie. I thought it stuck true to the book in all the best ways. There were even some really cool little easter eggs, little secrets thrown into the movie from the book. Let me know in the comments if you watch it and you notice any. I'm sure there were some that I didn't even catch. But for those of you who are worried that the movie won't do justice to the book, don't be. I'll just say this, there are far better books that have been made into far worse movies. So check it out, it's, it's pretty good. So what to talk about? Let's get an update on Nathan's life. Actually, to be honest, there have been like a billion things going horribly, horribly wrong lately, but things are starting to look up. Thank God. For starters, last week we found out that our hot water heater was pumping like 50 times the lethal dose of carbon monoxide into our house. Luckily we found out about it before, you know, we died. And our landlord just completely replaced the hot water heater, so yay! Now we won't die! Well, you know, not yet. What else? Oh yeah, you know how Rose and I were buying a house? Well, it turns out the market isn't really that great right now, and there's not really that many good houses for sale in our town, so we're going to be pushing that back till next year. However, we kind of already told our landlords that we were moving out, so they gave our house to someone else. So now we have to find a new place to live. In a month. But we're very persistent people, so we'll find something. And if not, then, you know, maybe this will just become slightly more of a homeless vlog. From the streets! There's also like a million other things going wrong right now, but you know, you guys don't need to know everything about my life. You nosy Nancy's. But you know, I'm not even that stressed out because in two weeks from tomorrow, dot dot dot, Rose and I are going to California to go to VidCon! I have been looking forward to this all year and it is finally coming up. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned to catch all the action. See what I did there? Tied it up. <laughs> Rose and I are by no means famous, but I kind of just want to see what we can get away with while we're there. Like I figure if we just act like we're supposed to be there, we can probably make some pretty cool stuff happen. Like get some other YouTubers on camera or something. All for you guys. Yeah, okay, I don't have anything else to talk about. Rose, we will see you on Monday.